Okay, we're doing the Nier Raid. Uh, some preamble from me. I have played Nier Automata. I really liked the game for the first two hours, and I hated it for the next 20 hours, and I really, really loved it at the very end. So I think I kind of love-hate Yoko Taro. I didn't get his point until his game was over, uh, and I hated the core gameplay loop of that game because I think I don't like Platinum games. But the story was cool, and it seems like this is mostly story. This isn't Platinum games bayonet him, beat him up, so I'm excited to see what it's like. This is basically... Oh, it's it's fun to out. see how uh, WoW... Um, how you do Hearthstone versions of WoW fights, right? right. This They're is adapting. It's fun to see the 14 version. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. what I like. Adaptation in gaming is so fun. Absolutely. Like, oh, they interpreted this mechanic from the original fight in Hearthstone this way. That's cool. Two P. To pee or not to pee. That is to, to pee. I mean, if you gotta go, do it now. <laughs> is there meant to not be music yet? Oh, wait, maybe that's playing. Yeah, crank, crank your BGM for this. Okay. Depending on how you felt about the music. I like the music in Nier. I was a big fan. I need to play the game a second time. I think I would like the whole product on a second pass yeah but it was just like this rolling bolt growing ball of hate and then i got to the end and i'm like i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry for hating it it's actually really good now <laughs> nice i'm the only caster for once can you see johnny steel here look at this green motherfucker this is oh, wow. great i'm standing there the <laughs> two stacks on either side. So how did this happen? Is Yoko Taro friends with Yoshi P? Does he like Final Fantasy XIV? I think that's right. I think they, they knew each other. And Yoshi P's the kind of guy that's like, yeah, okay, just come do a whole thing in my game. Fine. Yeah, he's kind of got like a, a Sakurai thing now where people just like want to be included. <laughs> Oh, nice! They're doing the bullet hell thing? That's uh, cool. I, okay. I'm on board. I'd love to see that happen more. Someone adapt the story of Super Mario Brothers, but in a... Do those all have collision? There's no way, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. It's, it might just be a frontal cone. Yeah. But it, it is a, a cute like animation. A, yeah. Did, look at that. I got a thanks for the rescue. Nice. Sarcastic. Never happens. Unprecedented. Oh, cool. Oh, thanks, this is really neat. I'm super into this raid. I'm sorry, Yuko Taro. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> It's not your fault. It's Platinum Games. Work with a different studio. Everyone loves Platinum Games, though. I forget which one that is. It's the center one. About the center. Okay, good. Okay. Kind of scientist are you, Ginny? <laughs> it's a straight line? So Tropical doesn't mean straight line. What kind of scientist are you, Matt? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is a little weird. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> For some reason, it just didn't occur to me that they would try to do the bullet hell thing. I thought they were mostly just going to adopt the um, the aesthetic of the robots and stuff. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's there's content in this game already that's bullet hell like, where you'll have like so many AOEs on the ground that there's only one safe spot. Savage is yeah. a lot like that. Multiplayer bullet hell, right? Right. 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 
So you said Yokotaro was heavily involved with this? He's not just, like, lending his name to it? Uh, it was, uh, I mean, I'm sure people on the channel know more than I do, but yeah, he, he helped design the fights and I think even, like, the whole, the whole quest line story That's kind of cool. thing. And uh, like, w did a lot in, in, like, pouring the models over and the animations and stuff. That's cool. Uh oh, ventures are done. Uh -oh. Gotta go. That's kind of them to make the little bullets detonate when they hit somebody instead of continuing to travel and hit others. Or do they do AOE damage when they detonate? That could be bad. I think they have a little one. Okay. This one's on the side track. Nice. Thank you. Anti sin. Oh, fuck it. Big. <laughs> side side a bit side behind side. him, apparently. Yeah. I know we have two melee in the group, but I'm going to use every LV3 we get if I can. Who would? It's like a little stealth pat. Oh, that's a nice way to t make a twist on that, okay. <laughs> F. Oh, ouch. Yeah. It's so pretty the nasty. Worst possible spot. You want me to help raise people? Yeah, that'd be great. I wouldn't be dead in a second. <laughs> so never mind. I'm pretty sure those that's just a cone. It's just a pretty animation. Oh, yeah. When I first saw it, I got all excited. I'm like, oh man, can I actually dodge? No, you can't actually dodge them. <laughs> that split second of me looking at people being dead and not paying attention cost me my life. That's why I should never raise people on Red Mage. To get away from him, thing or no, it's just no, brain damage. It just hurts. Okay. Side strike. Thanks, Pat. Clanging blow is tank buster. I think the way they do the tank busters now, too, the boss usually stands still and charges it up for a while. <coughs> Doesn't have any fancy animation. Side striking. Yeah. I thought I was far enough away. Big, I right? wasn't. If you're a caster, you can just be far enough away from them. They don't have to be either mechanic. It's just I wasn't far enough away.
No. We did it, Reddit. Oop. Yay! Cool. I'll just start you play. Okay. Hey, Cassie, here for I you. need those boots. It's like the last piece I need. Is there no lockout here on loot? Nah, you yes, can green on everything if you want. Used to be, you know, the standard, you get one piece of loot per week. You know, it doesn't matter where you get it from. As long as you get a piece of loot, you dunzy kind of thing. But... You see anything offending on it, you, uh, you get that loot. <laughs> Riding on the drone, that's cute. And this I was cool. about to ask. Nice. The uh, the teleports are the save points from the game. Yeah, that's good little vending machines. Yeah. How often does this Meowmix song come up in the game? <laughs> Matt calls this Meowmix. It's like one area, basically, but it's a big area, so you hear a lot. I can't play the game then. There's a lot of weird <laughs> chanting. I like the boss fight music for the most part. I can't I can't do this Meowmix song. I don't think it's that bad. It's a good game. Parts of it were infuriating to me, but it's a very solid final product. I don't know if I've ever experienced something else that I just didn't like it until it was over, and then I was like, this is great, actually. It's like a weird cheese. <laughs> I've had the opposite. I've had things where I really like the beginning, and then I just hate it by the end, but... All your ex-girlfriends. Wow, that's very philosophical. Ex-girlfriends are like a cheese. Well, you like them at the beginning and you hate them by the end. Well, you love them by the end is the weird one. Yeah. That's, that's the much sadder all your ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Put that on the box of mirror. Womp womp. This game is like all your ex-girlfriends. Interpret as you will. Mm hmm also, me, I'll make some. There's a Lollapel machinist named Hansu Chan. He was using his flamethrower ability. But I have the effects turned off, so it just looked like he was, like, wagging himself back and forth. <laughs> anyway, I was into it. Now I'm going to openly speculate about this in later sessions in the raid. There's a mechanic in Nier Automata, particularly for one of the playthroughs where you, like, hack things and you turn into a little, like, cursor. I kind of hope that's in here eventually, if not in this one, maybe in a future wing. Because there's a fun way they could do it, I think. Yeah. All I know about Nier Automata is there's a YouTube video where it's the Steam Pams thing from The Simpsons. Someone made it like it's Nier Automata, and there's like multiple playthroughs of the Steam Pams clip with Seymour. And it's... <laughs> that's actually really funny if you that's play funny. here. Like, yeah, it's that's funny, funny independently, but <laughs> you should you should look it up. Yeah, I got a kick out of it. Yeah. And I don't know anything. I don't even <laughs> jokes mostly because I didn't play it. The, the Square Enix producers add this really on-the-nose thing at the, after the credits play that's like, please keep playing the game. We promise it's not actually over. <laughs> like, And I think Yogo Taro made them say that it was from the producers because he didn't want it. Nice. Yeah, my experience. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you pay attention to the the chat. The, this guy has some funny things that he's... It's probably the ashes. Ashes. Laser resistance tests. I have failed the laser resistance test. Three damage, it looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just noticed that our three parties are on different platforms. It's cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you need tank stance on, but there will be one mechanic you need to do as a tank for us. We'll call oh, right. That happens. Okay, we'll thanks. Die. I forgot I'm the one tank in this party. I don't. I don't know if he's like. Uh, in the Stormblood raid, you know, the, the, the Sid fight, where, you know, each tank still gets hit by him kind of thing. Right. By, like his auto attacks. I'm not I sure how this I am hit by the auto attacks, but 
Yeah, I guess with, with these ones, since there's so many other players, I don't mind if you just give me a heads up as the mechanic is happening if I don't immediately figure out what it is. Keep your eyes the on the one. walls. Arm so this one, move. you're going to want to take these tethers from everybody and then run away from everybody. And use a cooldown if you have one. Oh, cute. Perfect. Those are the little suicide guys from the game. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're now better than most of the tanks that we have. Yeah, that one tanks. sucks if people don't do it. There's actually... A lot of cool stuff they could do with Nier now that I'm thinking about it, adapting stuff into an MMO. If we get, if the final boss fight is Smash Brothers credits, I'll be so happy. <laughs> That'd be so dumb, but... Nyoko Taro makes everyone delete their MMO character. If you want to beat the raid. Center. Oh, yeah, be in the middle. Yeah, this boss fight's weird. You can literally spend the whole fight not looking at him and looking at the back wall, and it's probably the uh, Better. preferred strategy. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do. I set him as focus, and then I just watch the wall. I mean, that might be the point. I could see that being like a very intentional. Cause she she even says like look at the wall when you come in. Yeah. That's the secret. Two B gives you the tips on the, all the fights actually. Mm. I'm getting some uh, some dog aggro here. I'm gonna pay a K and uh, take her out. But you'll be fine without me. I'll be back okay. in a few minutes. Okay. So I think that was part of my what would maybe furious with Yoko Taro and Nier Automata. I could never tell if he was doing something because he was being artsy fartsy on purpose or because it was bad. And in this case, uh -huh. I think I think this is on purpose. I think he wants you to look away from the boss the whole time because that's like, why would you ever do that in an MMO? That's weird. Yeah, yeah. Especially since 2P keeps referring to that you should be doing that. Mm -hmm. It's the mark of good satire, I guess, when you can't tell if it's on purpose or not. I see. So each of the three pads has a different uh, floor effect. Mm -hmm. So you have to run this a few times to see all of the different things. Oh, I see, because you might not see and all of them. Yeah, it depends on the alliance you're in. You need to go see. this way. Yeah, get off the right. My rescue's down. Mine too. I tried to rescue Matt, but I just rescued him into something, so then he would die again. Persistence duly noted is irritating. I think, <clears throat> I think this guy is also an homage to Portal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for He's sure. He's got that shape of the GLaDOS right. hanging. Right. Well, if he's not just doing let's adapt fights from near, I'm curious, like, what are other things that people always assume about an MMO fight that you could break? He's like Andy Kaufman. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wouldn't it be hilarious? They'll be looking at their TV and they'll think there's something wrong with their TV. What is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. I see. Ow. I can pick them all up by just intercepting them, basically. And that's just a wipe if the tank fucks that up, I guess? Yeah, it, it's a little a, a big AoE, so it, if you miss some people, you're fine, but people are usually grouped up to avoid the walls coming down on the box. So that's a 
bad combo. People probably think we hate this poor red mage, which is not resident. Yeah, well, they're not wrong. <laughs> we know they're Oh god. We made one too many mistakes. Fight has bullet hell energy too, just with the, the patterns, even if there's not actual bullets. He has a single tell if you look at him, does he? Nope. Nope. It's all on the battlefield. That's I love it. I'm gonna remember that Andy Kaufman thing, because I think that that's yeah. that's it. I finally landed on it. <laughs> I like Andy Kaufman, but I could see if I was watching the TV I would have been confused at the time. Uh-huh. Is he really just gonna read the Great Gatsby? Seriously? fucking tank. <laughs> this specific tank. Uh -huh. I like all the cute little rivets. This is a really welcome cool fight. Hey, welcome back. I enjoyed the Final Fantasy Tactics one from Stormblood quite a lot, but this is super cool. Got some fun ideas. Energy donut. Like an intercept tethers type thing, or no? Okay. Pull them away from people if you can. I see. Do interceptable tethers have a different, like, graphic to them? It's got like a little targeting icon or something. I, think it, I mean, those the ones in the last fight were thicker. 
but they're pretty much the same color. <laughs> I can't think of very many tethers that aren't interceptable, otherwise they don't use the tether marker. Well, no, like, like you know, like these, um... The robots in this fight are... This this fight, the guys run after you have suicide. These tethers... Yeah, I mean, I guess you can not call them tethers, because you can't... Maybe that's how you define it, is that tethers when you can pick them up. <laughs> right. Nice. Also nice. <laughs> yeah. It's basically just one of the main characters' move sets. Yeah. Um. One of the things the game does that I thought was really cool is that it, you're constantly changing perspectives and like the core gameplay loop is always different. Sometimes it's a brawler, sometimes it's a side-scrolling space shooter, sometimes it's a <coughs> bullet hell gradius type game. And it like flawlessly and smoothly transitions between them, seamlessly transitions between them all the time. Named Nicholas Mage. Ah, it's pretty good. Can He's I tell playing him? genius right now. So, uh, the only tank thing on this next one, um, you'll get a red marker at some mm -hmm. point that you it's it's basically the tank bus you want to move it out of the group um most of the tanks move it to the front of so as a you'll probably go to the front left but also as long as it's ads. not on front so it's fun okay. also the three ads we'll have to pick one of them up. oh and there there'll be ads yes yeah, so it'll be the left one. So cool That's so we can get a bad ending in here. The bad ending is when we did this a couple weeks ago, and it took like nine, at least an hour. That was wow. a record number it of reses. very long. I like the willingness to use silence in here. Oh, does it actually cut out all the sound effects? Oh, when I pull out my mod sword, it was going. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, for this one, I like to follow Patrick, and then I die less. Gosh. Now I have to play cameraman. <laughs> Cause he looks cool. I don't wanna like stare at the floor. Yeah. This should be the tank buster, the red one. Yeah. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. Got it. Thank you. You said they're gonna be ads later? Yeah. Is it gonna be clear who grabs which ad? You go you go to the A it's on the left. It's the okay. attention. I wasn't sure if it was the kind of boss where it like puts us in little cages or get something. Get out of the center! Get out of the center! This is the movie one. Don't come towards me, Jenny. Move away. I don't have it. I have it. Oh, <laughs> move okay. away. I had to run out of the center because somebody in the center didn't move. Nowhere is safe. Fuse laser is just uh, great damage. Okay. The AOE's coming from inside the house. I don't know that oh, the, the yellow arrows, Dylan. I think is new too. It. It, um, 
it will drop a bunch of AoEs. Oh, front um, center. Close. And the AoEs will drop and then follow you with several more drops, but with no more echo markers after that. So mm. that's what it I don't think I saw that. I'll have to watch out for it. Yeah, it comes right after the red uh, AoEs. Okay. The yellow one. Or not take. That's what Junie was saying about get away from the middle. Yeah, somebody didn't run it out, but I didn't pay attention to who had it that wasn't in the middle. They'll be in the center. They'll be in the center? Okay. My bad. That's just a series of two um, Smashies. sauce wipes. Sure. Cool. Little bullets coming out. Oh, and they're gonna make a missiles. That's that's smart. Or uh, meteors, I should say. I got front. <laughs> There's that whole adapting near into Final Fantasy XIV specifically, right? Yeah. That's cute. I'm really impressed at like the the general this is tank buster, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm impressed at the, the vocabulary that they expect the average player to have at the end of Final Fantasy XIV's story, just in the mechanics. So we're going to see those weird arrows soon, you said? Yeah, I think they'll come next. Three people will get yellow arrows. This might be where they start changing the order. I see. Yeah. It's going to be the ads. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll get those. Uh, we have to kill ours first. It's it's a matter of pride. Deeps your heart out, Pansu Chan. We're getting help from one of the other guys. Yeah, it's great. We got two of them over here. Great for their yeah. ad, right? We win. And you can go help after that. Yeah. Now you start dancing, hope that we wipe and make the other alliances feel bad. I was curious if there was a okay. mechanic where you just stay put or something. Any damage mitigation stuff. Oh yeah, it still hurts pretty hard even with all the shields. Yeah. This cool guy standing up front. Yeah. There's an invisible gonna... wall here. No, don't! <laughs> <laughs> Touche. God damn it, Matt. <laughs> wow. You know, Alt F4 will keep you from falling off the platform. Oh, let me try it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Right. Nice. You float over this when you come in on the on the pod. Mm -hmm. So it's there the whole time. They're not doing like some yeah. kind of trick with the stage. Now you gotta watch the sides. Oh, oh new that's saw right. blades. And we, they taught us about the saw blade earlier. That means everybody's gonna get hit by it. <laughs> Guaranteed. This is a really good game. I just. Uh, yeah. It's incredible. Did you guys ever watch that documentary about the 1.0 to Realm Reborn transition? No, I need to. It's super good. It's on YouTube, it's free. It's the. Uh, I think it's called No Clip. Ooh. Bad place, bad place, bad place. There's the yellow arrow. Uh, so right now. Move slowly away from the group. I mean, you can run. Just uh, it's gonna drop three or four do ads. I see. In the direction that I'm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Got it. Thank so you. What people do is they move out and they come right back to them, and then it follows so them. They don't in realize that it's actually still active. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. So it's kind of similar to the Eden Two. The thing happens, and then you have to remember. The effect yeah. that it. Yeah. Smash. Right, we gotta smash. This is back corner. Back corner. Whoops. Oh, and then look out in the front, I guess. I guess. 
Yeah, yeah. I didn't that see was wrong. Time. Oh god, don't be on the right. You don't pay my sub. Here's a new one. Be close. <laughs> oh, so we're supposed to take these? Uh, no, we definitely. just gotta kill them. Yeah, you kill burn them like those. wings. I see. Let's keep getting closer. Wow, limit break. Perfect timing. <laughs> They're cute philosopher robots. Those are just tells based on his animation. And it yeah, takes a, right. A you have to learn to... the animations. Now you can kind of tell. Kinda yeah, he kind of leans forward or back. Once you've seen right. both of them a couple times, you can figure it out. Don't be on Looks the like left. This one's on the left, right? Yeah. But there's a nice little dividing line on the center, so you can know where it's safe to stand. There's meteors. Yes. Imagine the pain with this one is just uh, passing someone in the hallway dance where someone else walks in so you try to take a different one and they try to take a different one at the same time. Yeah, yeah. There are no more at phases, I assume. Right. Not for this fight. Oh, why run it to me? They just want to. Uh, this is a be close and in the center again. And he pulls them back. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I was like, why in the center? Because he squish. Angle smash. Okay, he's hitting right. Good. Get to the left. Ow. I just crossed the line. Mr. Philosopher Man. 
Oh, that's cool. We're climbing on him. Right? I wonder how they did that. They must have transitioned into an actual platform at some point during the death animation. That's cool. Uh, you could shadow a Colossus him and like punch him in the back of the head. <laughs> really good. So the, this guy doesn't have any... There's one thing where the tank needs to move him, um, but somebody will move him. You gotta move to a hope quadrant. the tanks have to grab the, the side tanks during that part. Oh, there, there are ads, that's right. Yeah, there's a couple of things. We'll do the left hand one. <laughs> Best music in the world. Is this the same composer from Nier as well? Yeah. This, so this is the song That's he cool. wrote just for this. That's cool. I know they brought back... Well, I think it was all just uh, tactics music. What? Nani the fuck? Okay. Now, real question. If Dylan gets the 2P coffer, will he change his clamor? Mm. I have to for once for a sweet shot. Yeah. What is it? What is it? If you oh, you'll see. Two outfit. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just really no. great. <laughs> it's, it's not gender locked. Me and Pack could wear it too. Yeah, oh, we were. Oh, I wore it with my glamour for a long time. It looked great. Seems pretty sweet. Oh, it's great. Gotta get that orchestra out. Oh, and they even they brought back the theme. Nice. Yeah. That theme gave me chills. Right? Well, if you stand in the spotlights over here, your character lights up. Ooh. So even cast a shadow. So I'll end up we'll be end up fighting an ad at A, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then he brought the, the, oh, the Final Fantasy arpeggios in there, too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's fucking awesome. I need to download this song immediately after this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's fucking blowing his or her, the composer's Spirit. blowing their load on the first wing. Right. <laughs> Maybe we'll just, they'll use the song again, that's fine. Or hind. Or hind. Don't be at the four or the hind. No, or the hind. And then don't be at the Franks. Frank. We call this dual Frank cannons. <laughs> That's the deadliest kind of cannon. It's true. So here's the part we gotta move away from the Mark's arms as the tank. Um, they'll be in a quadrant here. You go to where this bunny and me are running, I think you're safe. Or that corner. You gotta be pretty far in the corner. Ugh. Yeah, there's more some other tank has him right now. Please it here. Uh if he needs this help resing, he would be Jake. Didn't make it for the cutscene. The trick here is to follow 2P. She, she kind of helps you out. the marker on her. Oh, I see. But don't, like, literally stack on her. Right, right. Okay. 
it, being at the edge makes it easier to see him coming. I, I am super into that integrating the uh, the arpeggio in there. That's great. Okay, I see. Maybe I don't see. No, I think I see. Ads. Yeah, but not the ads. Different we're kind of ads. So if you I, if you do aggro one of them, just face them into the corner. Okay. My understanding, I've never tanked this because I don't want to make our Q time worse. But my understanding is the off tanks are supposed to grab these when they take us to tank the main dude? Question mark? But maybe I'm wrong. They do have an aggro table, it looks like. Thank God he can't back flip off the screen. Yeah. It's trying to place like I know this melody from Near Automata, obviously, but it's also in another like it's like a pop song or something. I don't know. It, it's a it's a remix of the ending theme for right from the credits, which is song. But but I think that that same melody because there's a finite number of catchy melodies, right? I think it's also a, a, a pop song. I just don't remember what it is. On the tip of my tongue. So if we're running away from that one, you can see what he's doing to it. Mm. Might recognize that from the game. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wonderful. Well, in this case, I'm glad I already played near. Yeah, it gives you some little Easter eggs and stuff. Just great damage. Yeah. I guess I've got aggro now. Ads. Here's our ads. Hacking. So this guy is the first boss. Yeah. Oh, he's literally the same move set. Literally, yeah. Okay. What the? Can't place it. Macarena. <laughs> yeah. But it's like how the Good King Wogga Mog is uh, Nightmare for Christmas, right? It's just, there's only yeah. so many melodies. breaks. <laughs> I mean, he's only 50%, so... Yeah. yeah maybe. How many times can we do the uh, smoke mechanic? We'll find out. This is like I remember where it was. Yeah. Uh, memory mechanic. Oh, so, okay, the exact opposite of what I did. Got it. Yeah, My bad. don't be in the right part. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I thought it was that way the first time, and I must have just misremembered, so. Yeah. 
Poor machinist. Every time I get killed by this thing. Maybe one of the best songs in all of this game. Big fan. I mean, hey, hey, have you heard Papaya Paya? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I had this on repeat on my phone for... Yeah, right. Like, I already really like the end credits theme from the, the Nier Automata, but... Yeah. So this time there's going to be one safe quadrant. Don't do a flank after that. Neutralization is the tank buster. Yeah. Mm. From the turret, Jenny, look out. F. Thank you. Does he do them in? It's you know mark one, two or three as red, and then those that's the order they come down. Or hind. So you want to be in a. So, you be in a so he did he he did one pattern, two pattern, three pattern, and then he attacked three two one. Is that how it always no, works? It was it was one two three. Huh. So he can highlight the same tiles in one and three sometimes. Yes. Yep. Okay. One, one, two, and three. Yeah. yeah. If you uh, four hind, yeah, like. Gotcha. Usually you can be right next to the first thing that he marks red. And just then move into that as soon as right into it, and, and be, or or move twice. Gotcha. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, it's tricky, especially when he starts putting stuff with it. Uh, Saturation. I guess I wasn't zoomed out far enough to see everything he was sitting with it. Usually if you pick two squares and just like look, they almost never, as long as the squares are in the middle, um, he right. tends to not do giant blocks uh, just the middle. So you can pick like, like safe, not safe, and then they'll usually swap back and forth. Right, that makes sense. Or hind. Have hey. I seen you hey. gonna drop? Hey. I'm gonna come, Tansu Chan. That was super fun. Oh, Thanks, guys, minute. for running me through that. Do we know when the rest of this raid's supposed to come out? Next Next patch. Big patch. Uh, on the odd patches. 5 3 and 5 5, okay. 91, Jenny, I swear to God. You can do if it. If I don't get it with a 91. What's the fault. name of that orchestra and is it in the house? That's, that's way to the world prelude version. I don't know. Okay. Did, did, oh, prelude, did, I haven't yeah, gotten it yet. Prelude. We definitely roll on it. You gotta roll on the... On the is that is on that in the house now? I don't think we've gotten it yet. Nope, I don't think so. It doesn't drop every time. 16. We have that hole in 94 on it. Nice! Did you get it? No. Again. Oh my god. Cue it oh again. God. I got the orchestra. Nice. Nice. Put it in the I should just start it without using it, right? 
exactly. The, the person I res the most always takes the minion. Don't res anyone. Every, then you get res yourself, minion. forehead. <laughs> no, uh, no tank gear in either this or the last thing we did. Ah, oh, lame. Did you get any tank pieces? No, no, no nothing dropped. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. We can run. So you, what's the uh, coin for? We can run the four forty five one again. The coin you take and you use to take one of your four sixty phantasmagoria pieces if you buy any. You could trade that for the item that you need, whatever coating or twine or whatever bullshit they call it, in order to upgrade the material to four seventy. Mm -hmm. okay, so I can make my four sixty boots into four seventy boots. Yeah. Not the ones you got from the raid. If you got the 460 Phantasmagoria boots, then yes. Yeah. You didn't get anything from the raid. Deep shadow. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, si, senor. Cool. Thanks, guys. That was fun. We'll be back with more Final Fantasy XIV soon this time. There's more <laughs> to do.